with the hood of the science project. I just want to say before we even get started, piece of base. Um, CES 320 alternator upgrade on a GM car, Malibu in particular. Right here, you guys see this Hall Effect sensor. Well, first we're going to start this video with if anybody is having issues after installing an upgraded alternator or if they did a big three upgrade on a stock alternator. If you do a big three upgrade and you run grounds, extra grounds from maybe the alternator casing or the engine block in this case, upgrading these wires here, chassis grounds, sorry, chassis grounds, you want to make sure you loop your wires through this, run them through this Hall Effect sensor. Um, it's a tight fit. I was able to squeeze this 2 oc welding cable without the crimp on there. You can't crimp it and then squeeze it through. It won't fit. But, oh yeah, no, I gotta get some shrink on here and I need to label it. But that's gonna come, y'all. That's gonna come. But basically, I saw a huge difference in my voltage. The alternator actually works a lot different. Now I can actually feel it when it, um, kicks in when I, you know, pull a heavy load off my electrical. Uh, voltage i used to drop down into the full tilt after maybe two or three songs i was seeing 13.4 maybe 13.3 and i'm thinking that's still good people hop in oh man that's good voltage yeah but now full tilt i mean the lowest i've seen is maybe 13.8 um usually stays around 14 now and it's definitely a big difference in charging it's not like my voltage isn't all over the place fluctuating